entry, I am going to be showing you how to bring this prehistoric tribal huntress to life. So before we go back in time, please click the like button if you want to see me, yes me, compete in the NYX Space Awards 2015. And also post a comment below telling the NYX judges why you want to see me in the competition. Thank you so much for all of your love and support and your vote means the prehistoric world to me. Now, let's get started. <laughs> So I've already applied a little concealer for that flawless cave girl coverage and deep in the paleolithic jungles of Ooga Booga, they have creepy piercing eyes. So I applied contacts in both eyes to give this look a fierce edge like the Huntress. Starting out with my NYX Infinite Shadow Stick in Chocolat, I'm filling in my beastly brows and you know cave people's eyebrows were on fleek though. Next taking my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Leche aka Milk. I'm applying this all over my bulging dinosaur spotters as a base to make all those tribal colors come alive. Now I'm applying a metallic gold shadow from the stream where the T-Rex drinks. Yeah, I ain't scared. And then a huntress green just below my waterline. And then we need to highlight that Neanderthal brow bone. So maybe it's not that prominent, but seriously, let's pretend. Then taking an ivory war paint, I'm drawing on my tribal mask. And this isn't supposed to look perfect because cave girls were not makeup artists. So some of their makeup was not on point. To really sculpt my mask, I'm drawing on an epic wing just above my crease with an eyeshadow and black liquid liner to give this mask a sharper look. Sharp like when a velociraptor nibbles at your toes when you're sleeping. Ha, <sighs> good times. I was also going for that watercolor effect around the center of my lid and then I just patted on some more of that gold shadow to make it look dusty and divine. Next, taking a brown liquid liner, <laughs> I mean mud from the jungle floor, I'm prodding my brow bone with tribal dots, then I'm lining my mask with the brown liquid liner. Liner. Oh, and I made some red ochre paint to bring more color to this tribal masterpiece. And next, I'm just freehanding some more fun designs that really make me look and feel like a paleolithic princess. And for more tribal glam, I'm going crazy with this look and really having fun by drawing on some cheek lines with my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I decided to draw on this really cool lip and chin design. I love how by connecting your lips with your chin, it really just brings this look home. So next, I applied my top liner and using my all-time favorite makeup product ever, the NYX Two Timer Eyeliner, I applied this to my waterline and then to Taking my NYX bronzer in deep, I'm applying this all around my face to create that dusty, hardworking huntress look. Like she just finished rolling around in the dirt with a pterodactyl look. I also mixed in a darker shadow to define my temples, nose, and chisel my jawbone. And then taking my NYX colored mascara in brown, I just applied that to my lashes and then applied my NYX fantasy lashes. Since I clipped these lashes down, I took the remainder and really got creative by applying them around my mask for a unique 3D effect. And then I just highlighted my nose to make it look more glowy and defined. For fleek brows, I'm applying my liquid latex and sticking on some gorgeous green fungus, moss, whatever you want to call it, all over my brows, along with some tiny sticks which I foraged from the nest of a stegosaurus. I want to look like I'm so in tune with the jungle, it's starting to literally grow on me. Now I'm kind of going all over the place with my freehanding, but I created some colored lines on top of the white ones shaded under my eyes, and then I'm drawing on a dramatic triangular design which I eventually changed later in the tutorial. And back to the lines, I added more colors including gold, blue, black, and then I outlined my chin art and taking a brownish red lip color, I'm applying this around the lip art on the bottom and top of my lips. Next I applied three dots to my bottom lip and for jewelry I'm putting on my gold nose chain which I made out of an old necklace. So taking my NYX The Curve Liner, I'm filling in that triangle on my forehead because let's be real, that design was whack. So to finish off my face, I applied a white paint to the three dots on my nose that I mysteriously applied earlier. And now moving on to the body makeup, the Huntress is always battling dinosaurs. So this can cause her to get extremely dirty. So taking some black and brown loose powder and water, I'm randomly sweeping the soot and dirt colors all over my chest and shoulders, and then using my handprint as a design on my chest like tribal people have been doing for centuries. So the Huntress is slowly becoming the prehistoric jungle around her. So so to create this magical effect, I used liquid latex on my shoulders and chest and pressed on more green moss. 
Also completed the look with a white travel design on my neck adorned with dots, soot, and liquid liner. The Huntress is a brave warrior prepared for battle at every waking second. If you want to see her compete in the NYX Face Awards 2015, please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. I thank you all so much for your love and support. Thank you for watching and best of luck to all the entrants. Have a glitterful day! Oh!